welcome to your next True Five workout. It's Kelly, I'm here to take you through a strength endurance workout today. So today we're gonna focus on supersets. We're gonna do two exercises back to back, a total of eight exercises. And just like always, you're gonna be doing three sets of every exercise, so once this video ends, Start it back over and do it two more times through. So our first exercise is going to be a chest press. We're gonna do it on a ball. So grab two dumbbells. We're gonna be doing about 10 to 12 reps. So grab a weight that is going to be challenging for you. You want those last three or four reps to be really challenging. You shouldn't be able to do more. And so you're gonna to roll to where your head and your shoulders are on the ball, but you're holding up your glutes and your glutes and your core are engaged. And then we're just gonna go into a chest press bringing it all the way down and all the way back up, making sure you're getting that full range of motion, keeping those glutes and core engaged the whole time. Okay. We're gonna set the weights to the side for this next one, straight into ball push-ups. So hands on the ball, coming down, and up. You should be really shaky on this one. So if this is too challenging, you can drop it down to your knees to start out, making sure that your hips are low and you're still going all the way down and all the way up for the whole move until it gets a little bit easier and then you can work back up to your toes. Okay, so that was the first superset. No rest in between those two exercises. Then go ahead and take 30 to 60 seconds if you need to, to rest before jumping into the next superset. Okay, for this next superset, we're gonna be focusing on back. So just grab one dumbbell and your ball again, laying back down into that same, same position for the chest press. And we're gonna come, bring your arms all the way up so they're in line with your ears and bringing them up and back. Same thing, make sure your glutes are engaged, your hips are, hips are nice and tight, your core is engaged. And 10 to 12 reps. Okay. And we're gonna come straight into a single leg row. So grab one dumbbell, standing on one leg, coming here and row. Bringing that arm all the way up and all the way back down. You can see I'm shaking a little bit. This should challenge your balance. Okay, same thing on the other side. Already getting shaky. 10 to 12 reps on each leg. The leg on the ground, the knee is slightly bent. Making sure you're bringing that arm all the way up with each rep. Okay, two supersets down, two more to go. Okay, for this next one, you just need one dumbbell. Holding it here just like this. Make sure you go heavy, just really challenge yourself. And we're gonna go into a squat. So feet a little bit wider than shoulder width. Sit back into it like you're sitting into a chair. Make sure that, that those knees don't extend over your toes. Go down nice and deep each time. You want that 90 degree angle with your knees. Okay, and then we're gonna go straight into a single leg deadlift with that. So one dumbbell on one leg, and we're coming down and up. So you want that dumbbell in the opposite hand of the leg that's on the ground. You want your shoulders back, your back straight, your core is engaged, leg on the ground, softly bent at the knee, and same thing on the other side. Don't forget to breathe. Okay. 
Awesome, three supersets down, one more to go. You've got this, finish strong. Okay, for this next one, we need both dumbbells. So we're gonna go into a back lunge. Alternating legs. So you wanna make sure that you're going down to a nice 90 degree angle with each rep. And we're lunging back, we're focusing a little bit more on the glutes and the hamstrings versus if you have a front lunge, it's gonna focus a little bit more on your quads. You should be breathing heavy by now. Same thing, 10 to 12 reps. And then straight, set those weights down, straight into a single leg bridge. So come down on your back, bring your feet in, lift one leg up off the ground, lower and bring it back up. Switch legs, same thing. Make sure you're getting that full range of motion all the way down, all the way back up. Okay. And that's it. If you're not breathing heavy, go ahead and bump up the weight for the next two sets. You've got two more to go. You've got this. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll see you next time.